Hey everybody, my name is Jared Tate, the founder and creator of the Digibuy blockchain. And I wanted to make an update video because I uh, it's been a while. I've been working around the clock um, the last few months. There's been a ton of stuff that's happened. But I just wanted to make a quick video. Well, this might turn into a little bit of a video. But um, I wanted to share what I was thinking and where I was at. Um, now, before I go anywhere, you know, I, there's been a lot of updates since uh, November, November, December, uh, January, and here we are in February 2025. It's crazy. Time flies. But there's, uh, you know, I, I've been working around the clock. So, and I know others have. Uh, there's been a lot of um, things happening here. Um, uh, anyway, so I just kind of wanted to go over some of the updates. And if you haven't followed Digibyte for long, hopefully this will help you. So, if you haven't heard of it, digibyte.io uh, used to be the main website until some of the community members got a .org. And uh, now I've turned it into a stat site that actually can give anybody real-time data and analytics on what's happening with Digibyte. And we've added a bunch of stuff. Um, it's a great place that you can come and see the latest stats. Like, uh, as you can see, currently... Uh, the Digibyte blockchain almost has 21 million blocks. We're currently at 20.8 million. Almost 50 million transactions. Uh, and the entire blockchain is only about 31 gigabytes. So, um, as you can see here uh, in the blocks page, I added a feature where you can actually see if blocks um, that are recently mined are supporting Taproot. Now, if you don't know, we released 8.22. Um, and we're in the process of trying to activate Taproot on top of Digibyte. And Taproot has a ton of benefits that will allow us to build out some really cool um, use cases, some of which I've been working on, I haven't publicly talked about, and I won't talk about until it's ready. But they're kind of dependent on uh, Taproot um, for some, some use cases. And I know other people are working on some stuff too. And Taproot will... Um, basically activate what's known as uh, Schnorr signatures, which transactions are going to take up like 40% less space. So we can fit a lot more data on chain and Schnorr signatures allow for some advanced smart contract uh, flexibility that can be put to use in some uh, very innovative ways. Um, anyway, so if you haven't seen it yet, you can go to digibyte.io forward slash taproot and you can see the current activation window. So the way this works... Um, in order, to, we're doing a soft fork, which is basically like miners voting on if they want to upgrade the network with Taproot support. And so far, uh, we've basically got 30 to 40 percent of the network that is upgraded. It's been quite a process to be able to get and find out who the mining pools are. Um, and thank you to those of you who have helped with that. There's been a handful of you that have been reaching out uh, consistently for the last couple of months and trying to find all these pools. That's part of why I created this website, and I actually created uh, this ability, uh, where is it, under, is it under pools? Yeah, where you can actually see which mining pools have mined the blocks and if they support Taproot or not. Um, and that's been super important for us helping to identify who's actually mining. But there's still like half the network, maybe a third of the network that we haven't even been able to identify. And it's surprising me um, how many uh, mining pools there actually are out there. Um, so, yeah, anyway, you can track the status here. So the activation window is one week. And what it means is right now the activation process has started. And if we get 70% of the blocks signaling support for Taproot in that rolling one week uh, window, this will move to locked in. And then in another week after that, uh, we'll actually have it activated. So currently it looks like it would take at least three weeks at the earliest before this could happen. Uh, but we really need to get some more mining pools upgraded and some more miners to support this. But at the end of the day, Digibyte is decentralized, so even though us as developers have worked years on this, we get it out, um, doesn't mean it's for sure going to be activated. If uh, if an economic supermajority of miners don't approve the changes, um, nothing happens, so that could happen. And the, exp the, the window is two years, so basically from January 10th, 2025 until 2027 is how long we have to, to activate this thing. Um... So yeah, so uh, there's been several things added to the stat site. Now, what's crazy, <laughs> I 
I added this counter, I think, that was last fall sometime. But this website has gotten like 850,000 visits since I launched it last summer. And just the last month alone, this website has got almost 360, 370,000 views, which is wild. That's page views. So that's not individual people, but every time somebody clicks a different page, that's considered a page view. So pretty impressive. Um, you know, how many of you are actually checking this out? So if you haven't downloaded version 8.22.1, you should go do that. 8.221. Um, there were some uh, pretty significant uh, bugs that I fixed. Well, memory bugs. So issues uh, with with some memory issues. And it took me a lot of work to be able to fix those. Um, so as you can see here, if you go to GitHub, you can see the history. So that's some of the work we did. Um, but in the meantime, while we're waiting for Taproot, uh, we actually got um, DigiHash uh, turned over as a community pool. So uh, there's a member of the community, Brian. We want to thank him for helping provide hosting. And as you can see, we're getting a fair amount of miners here. We got four miners, four script miners. Um, it's got some cool stats. So this was all added here in the last uh, month and a half. You can see the miner efficiency. Um, the shares, the payouts. Um, oh, and then, yeah, payouts. So you could actually click here and go to the new block explorer that we rolled out um, that we modified. So this is a high speed block explorer. It's got a Rust back in and a C database. Super fast, um, super efficient. This replaced the other one. We got the theming. So that's a new project that we've got. Uh, now, the reason is this might be boring to some of you, the mining pool, block explorer stuff, but we've got to have a really super robust, you know, infrastructure. There's like core infrastructure because, for instance, the hardware wallets, they actually use this. A lot of exchanges use this uh, block explorer. And then obviously people. That's how you surf the blockchain, right? That's how you go search it and find things. So uh, a lot of work. This has all been done in the last, uh, you know, two and a half months, all these things, plus rolling out multiple versions. So... I want to thank everybody that's uh, helped with that. Uh, we've also rolled out some um, uh, website updates. Uh, we need, I think we have some more still to do. But, you know, that's um, some exciting stuff. But, you know, what I really wanted to, to tell you or talk to you guys about is, you know, the last couple months have been mind-blowing, the advances in AI. And, you know, now the thing, the rage everyone is talking about AI agents. Well, the more I think about this, the more I research this, and I've honestly been spending almost every waking hour this last few weeks, you know, 15, 16, 17 hours a day, uh, looking into AI, putting it into use, putting some use cases, uh, building some stuff, building a lot of stuff. Um, and I've decided that the future use case, the killer use case that we've really been looking for all this time I believe is going to be AI to AI payments because we're rapidly going to the next 24 to 36 months. You're going to see changes that I think is going to blow all of our minds. You're going to see the rapid deployment of what people are calling AI agents, where you literally have AI that will completely do a task. Uh, I mean, the other day, you know, I was testing the new chat GPT operator and I had it go out and I'm like, hey, you know, find me uh, the cheapest weekend in March to go fly from Salt Lake City to Austin, Texas, and then go book the ticket for me on Delta Airlines. And guess what? It went out, found the cheapest holiday, or not holiday, cheapest weekend, literally went to the point where I, all I had to do is click my credit card and then buy the airplane ticket, right? That's the future of what's going to happen with everything. Every software you use on a daily basis, I believe is going to be recreated and, and turned into completely autonomous AI agents or modified and improved in the next couple of years. I mean, everything is going to be disrupted. And when those AI agents need to go use AI agents, and that's where you have these AI, what they call agentic frameworks or agents as a service, you know, replacing SaaS software as a service, you're going to have these agents and they're going to need to hire other agents. So if they go hire other agents, 
they need to pay them. Well, they can't use the traditional banking system because there's really no way to tie into that and there's no way to do AML KYC on a autonomous AI agent, you know, that's building an app or building a front end or, you know, going out and doing research or making marketing content or posts. But as all this automation gets going, I believe we're going to get to the point in three or four years where there's going to be more day-to-day -day transactions happening between AI agents than there's ever going to be between humans. And Digibyte is perfectly suited for this because I believe as AI agents get smarter, they're going to want the most decentralized cryptos out there. Um, and they're, you know, as, as we approach AGI that can actually go out and validate and learn for itself, like, hey, these blockchains are actually decentralized. These ones not so decentralized. There, there's going to be a need for, you know, micro payments between AI agents. And, you know, I've got several ideas on how to do this, but I think it's important that everybody as a community, we start thinking about this and how can we build out a standard or an interface or a system to allow these AI agents to use Digibyte more easily. And, you know, more importantly, um, you know, AI is going to disrupt everything. And I can tell you as a coder, you know, I've been building, writing code and websites since I think the first website I did was in 1998, right? So over 20 years. And, you know, I've been doing this professionally for 20 years. And I've built all sorts of apps, code, website. The way I'm working now has completely changed in the last eight weeks. Like, I, the, the flow... And, you know, me as an individual, I can do way more than I ever could before. And I know I'm not the only one. So I encourage you, if you haven't looked into this, go start using these LLMs, these models, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Claude. Go get familiar with them right now. They're changing on a weekly basis. And you, they have gotten so much better since November that, I mean, you can literally go out there and launch a startup by yourself in three or four months that would have taken you a half a million dollars in a team of people a year just two or three years ago. I mean, the, the barrier and the cost to entry to creating useful software projects is just falling through the floor. And you're about to see an absolute explosion of stuff around Digibyte. I can promise you that. Um, I'm talking to a lot of people, got a lot of things. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to pre-announce anything until some of these things are ready. You know, that's the old, you know, under-promise and over-deliver. You know, that's how we, we did very well in the beginning with Digibyte and for the first few years. And, you know, we want to get back to that. But what I really want to do is encourage you all out there to go try and build something. Go create something. Go look into this. Go... Go look at these platforms and these agentic. I mean, you got to start looking into AI agents now. You got to start building them. Um, I think we've got this window, 24 months, where you're going to see such rapid deployment of AI agents. And the people that build those, deploy those, and launch those are going to be the ones that are going to be profiting from this originally. But, you know, the downside of this is. It's going to put a lot of people out of work. I mean, McKinsey uh, Research is saying, you know, by 20, is it 2030 or 2034, like five, six, seven years, 70% of all office jobs are going to be automated by AI agents. I think it's going to happen quicker than that. I think we're going to be, you know, 90% of knowledge workers, professional services, gig, anything in the gig economy, whether you're an Uber driver or a freelance graphic designer or freelance coder this is all gig the gig economy is going to be the first thing replaced by these ai agents and it's going to happen it, it's happening right now i mean you see the layoffs in tech you know junior de developers I, you know i'd hate to be in college and computer science right now but at the same time you know what you need to think is somebody's going to have to manage all these ai agents but anyway i just want to share the vision that we need to be thinking about how we can position Digibyte as a truly decentralized blockchain for AI to start building stuff on it and, and provide those tools. And for those of you in the community that, you know, you're like, oh, I'm not a coder. I don't know how to help. I don't know how to do this. 
anybody can start helping now with creative ideas by leveraging some of these new platforms that have been released in the last few weeks, the last couple months. So go do the research. I mean, go check out Visual Studio Code with Copilot. Copilot's the, the big AI from GitHub. Go use ChatGPT. Go use Quad. Go try um, running some LLMs. Like, I'm in the process of actually creating an LLM right now. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, my mind's blown what's possible. So it's an exciting time. You know, I think 2025 is going to be the most amazing year probably in my lifetime and maybe in everyone's lifetime. It's also probably going to be the scariest because you're going to see changes happen so rapidly. You know, I've kind of come to the conclusion where it's either we embrace it and just go full bore with it right now or we're going to get left in the dust. So anyway, I want to share my thoughts Give you an update, kind of where I'm at. Uh, expect a lot of things happening. Um, let's get the community activated. Let's get going. Let's build out a truly decentralized system that we can all benefit for in the future. And I think we got this this window of time, this opportunity right now, where we can position Digibyte to be. It's not going to be the only one. There's going to be multiple blockchains involved, but it could be one of the main ones that these hygienic frameworks and this autonomous AI agent economy is built on. And I believe that's, I believe that's our future. Um, and hopefully this all goes well and we can automate all the tedious mundane things in life. And, you know, we can all sit back and enjoy time with our families, go golf, go hike, go work out, spend time with loved ones. If we do this right, you know, we're going to, I think all you got to do is survive the next three to five years and we're going to have an amazing future if if we come together and we build it. So let's build it. Anyway, till next time, I'm out.